So here we are again with our old friend, Mr. Subaru. We have really a safety situation going on here. A little scary. Let's jack up the vehicle and jump right into it. So just last week, I was praising how reliable the Subaru has been. Owned it for 10 years now, almost 180,000 miles, driving on the highway yesterday, and around 50 miles an hour, the steering wheel just started to shake violently back and forth. Really, really scary. Now, the other symptoms that we have, look at this driver's side wheel here. I can move it quite easily. The vehicle is in park right now, okay? So no big deal. Now over to the passenger side, nothing. This is actually a little shaky because I'm removing the lug nuts, but this is completely locked up. The other thing I noticed was the smell. Incredibly, incredibly strong, almost like a burning clutch, which really were just the brakes being cooked. And from this distance, as I walked around the vehicle, I can feel the heat coming off this wheel. I took a quick temperature scan of each wheel, roughly 100, 110 degrees Fahrenheit for each wheel. This one was well over 500 degrees Fahrenheit, just dangerously high. You can crack the rotor, shatter it, and so forth. So my guess is we probably have a frozen caliper. Let's find out. Now look how tight this is. Typically you should be able to swing up the caliper even with a flathead, very, very tight. What I would do is simply compress the pads in and release the piston. But again, I just want to show you just how tight, look how tight everything is. Very, very tight. There we go. Okay, let's swing this up. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Wow. How the heck did that happen? Hey, yay, yay. That's the issue right there. But you see the difference? See how nice? Again, this is in park right now, but this is rotating, so let's fix it. So I'm going to reinstall the caliper just for a moment because we need to break loose this banjo fitting so it's easier just to reinstall it and clamp it down now this is a hose clamp the whole point behind it is so we don't lose a lot of brake fluid so we can just clamp it down okay that holds it in place we have to bleed the brakes regardless but now we don't have brake fluid just pouring out of the system so this is a 12 millimeter fastener clamp it on there So now the line is nice and free. We have two fasteners holding on this bracket and then we can remove it and bring it to the parts store. Okay, let's go get a brand new one. Whoops. And now we have the new caliper reinstalled. The cost for the caliper really is not too bad, just $70. And not only do you have the caliper, a bracket, new clips for the brake pads, as well as a new banjo fastener for the brake hose. At this point, we just need to bleed the brakes. I've shown this before on camera. If you're curious on how to do that, I will include a link below and we'll wrap it up. And whenever you need to crack a bleeder screw, always use a flare wrench. You see the difference? This will prevent any stripping on the bleeder screw. And just getting back from a test drive and look at the temperature. We're right on the money. And in the next episode, I'll be opening up this cam phaser to see precisely why it's locked and we had an issue on the FJ. Hope to see you then. Thank you for watching.